It's Wednesday, March 30th, and the time for your Bobby List to be morning news of the Bobby List's COVID-19 vaccination drive has slowed down considerably over the first quarter of the year, with the number of first, second, and booster doses plummeting to new lows. Warning that the immunity provided by the first and second doses is likely to wane within six months. Joint Coordinator of the National Vaccination Program, Dr. Elizabeth Ferdinand, said the need to be fully vaccinated and get boosters is even more important as people engage in more social activities like partying and the upcoming crop over festivities. The totals for the months January, February, March, there is a decline in the number of doses that we have given first doses, as well as second doses, as well as boosters, all right? So it's it's really come down a lot, the numbers-wise. I mean, the boosters went down drastically from 10,000 to 2,000. So it's definitely down. A significant part of the $14.4 million assigned to the Ministry of Education, Technology and Vocational Training will be used to pay tuition fees to the University of the West Indies. The disclosure from Minister Kay McCarney, who said over 6,000 students would benefit for the 2021-2022 to 2022 academic year. The Education Minister was speaking in Parliament on Tuesday during the supplementary estimates. The sum being requested in this supplementary will cover transfers to the University of the West Indies. You would know, sir, that this government continues to empower through education. And as part of our commitment in that regard, we sought back in September 2018 to restore the payment of tuition for undergraduate students at the University of the West Indies. And a significant part of this supplementary will in fact go to that. I am told by the ministry that we now have over 6,000 students for whom we, are, we paid tuition in the 2021-2022 um, school year. We had come down. I know that we had at one point been as high as over 8,000 before the tuition was taken away from being paid by government by a previous administration. We had dropped below 5,000, and now we are rising again in terms of allowing access of Barbadian persons, students, to higher education at the University of the West Indies. Minister McConney said that the money would also go towards other programs. This not only supports the students, but it supports all of those Barbadians who are seeking to get an undergraduate education, including those persons who would have worked and was seeking to take time away from work and then go on to further their studies as well. In addition, Mr. Chairman, this money also goes to support some of the economic costs of the um, of running programs at the University of the West Indies, not just the tuition. We also support the University Hospital of the University, the Seismic Research Center, which you know has responsibility for monitoring volcanic and earthquake activity and has provided scientists who are able to provide the kind of support that we need in times of emergencies. We also support Open Campus, Mr. Chairman, and so this sum that of this supplementary for the Ministry of Education, Technological and Vocational Studies will go a long way, not only to deal with tuition, not only to deal with economic costs, but also to support research and other activities of the University of the West Indies. With Government will be spending $5 million on phase two of the National Botanical Gardens at Waterford St. Michael. Word of this from Minister of Environment and National Beautification, Adrian Ford, as he spoke in Parliament on Tuesday. We have plans to have the conceptual designs and the construction designs over the next couple of months. And hopefully, Mr. Speaker, within a year, with this money, we would have the roads built, we will have utilities, proper drainage facilities, along with the amphitheater that could see the artistic and creative imagination of our people being exposed, not only in Barbados, but to the rest of the world. 
This is who we are as a people. And the garden represents the most natural recreational spot. And I want to thank Barbados for, for using it in the way they have been using it over the past couple of months. Um, it has really brought uh, a balance of the humors in a special way in this country, um, where you can find one place where families, uh, friends, uh, persons who are planning all types of events can come to one natural, beautiful, rustic place and enjoy themselves and enjoy the Barbadian way of life. There's regional and international news after this short break. More oxygen means more energy means more adventure. Cure Oxygen, natural spring water infused with more oxygen to improve your energy, immunity and performance. The next generation of hydration. Cure Oxygen, nature's ultimate water. Caribbean Cool is a refreshing juice drink that contains 100% vitamin C that you can enjoy any time of the day. It has a refreshingly awesome range of Caribbean flavors. Moby, orange, fruit punch, pineapple, sorrel, and pineapple coconut. Suitable for any occasion. Caribbean Cool. To news from the region, officials in the Bahamas defend a decision to assign police officers back on campuses following recent violence in school. We get more in this report from our news, Bahamas. The decision to place officers back in schools comes nearly a week after a male student was stabbed at A.F. Adderley Junior High School. The Education Minister and National Security Minister both made the case for reinstating officers on campuses. We are not going to sacrifice their future. Now, the issue of safety is a compelling one, and we have been we obliged, we must, do something to stabilize the environment. One thing that everyone agrees to is that the police have a place in school. Government High is not the only public school with an officer now attached. Other senior high schools include R.M. Bailey, C.C. Sweeting, C.V. Bathel, and Doris Johnson Senior High Schools. Police officers have also been reintroduced to a handful of junior high schools, including C.H. Reeves, T.A. Thompson, and A.F. Adderley. Hannah Martin says despite criticism in the past surrounding a school policing program that was introduced under the former Christie administration, she says there is now widespread support for the more recent move. We, we just need a collaborative effort of everybody in the community for us to do what we can to stabilize our young people. Last week, Bahamas Union of Teachers President Belinda Wilson told the Nassau Guardian she would support officers in schools as she said it would provide for another layer of protection for students and teachers. And finally on the international front. The United States Food and Drug Administration authorized another COVID-19 booster shot for people aged 50 and older, citing waning immunity to Omicron variants. More in this Reuters TV report. The agency said the new boosters, a fourth round of shots of the Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna vaccines, should be administered at least four months after the previous dose. Dr. Peter Holtez, professor of pediatrics and molecular virology at Baylor College of Medicine, says another booster could be critical for protection. We have data now from the Centers for Disease Control showing that after a few, a few months out of your first booster, you have a decline in effectiveness to around 66% protection against emergency room visits, 78% versus hospitalizations. In addition to that, we have data coming out of Israel now saying that if you get that second booster, the fourth dose, it tends to restore it to that previous uh, effectiveness. Scientists and officials have debated for months if and when an additional booster shot would be needed as they parsed data on how long protection from the vaccines and boosters would last. COVID cases in the United States have dropped sharply since a record surge in January, but have seen a small uptick over the past week, according to data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The U.S. National Public Health Agency said on Tuesday that the BA2 subvariant of Omicron was estimated to account for more than half the coronavirus variants in the country. A resurgence of COVID-19 cases in parts of Asia and Europe has raised concerns that another wave could follow in the United States. That's news. 
But for the very latest, visit us at www.barbadistoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook, and sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, as well as screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. And you can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM.